Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Bear Beer Reviews. Today we're going to be trying Wall Tops Scarborough Fair. Now this is actually just brewed up the road from me, in Driffield, so it's about 15 minutes drive away, which I find really interesting because this is a local beer for me I guess. It's a 6%, it comes in a nice 500ml bottle, it's got some cool little art artwork on it as well. Scarborough is one of my favourite places to go visit nearby me. Uh, you know, they love another song, Are you going to Scarborough Fair? That one. Scarborough is a really interesting little town anyway. It's got some cool places in it, some cool restaurants and the like. Uh, so this is um, this is an IPA, and uh, it says on the back here that it's actually grown with, uh, grown with pale world grown malt base, so it's kind of a local a local uh, malt as well going into it. And they also put some maize, so some corn in it for a bit of head retention. Um, so we'll see how that pans out. I'll crack it on open. See if I can actually get one open this time. Not sure why smoke coming off it. And I'm pouring into a nice little panic glass here. Give it a good glug, see what we get. Try to get some of that head going. There we go, that's probably the best I'm going to get. So there you go, it's about oh, two, in, two in a little bit finger head. It is a fantastic, wonderful, clear colour. I'd almost say that's kind of a lagerish, um, a lagerish pale. It's, it's very, very clear. Almost, almost no colour to it at all, and I can see my, my reflection on the on the camera. It's uh, you know you can see how clear it is. It's a really nice tiny tiny bubble foam head going on as well, and there's wonderful level of carbonation. It is frothing away like mad. Okay, so let's go our nose in, give it a good smell. Oh yeah, it's 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 hot fueled. Um, I would say they are probably using more something along the lines of uh, English hops for this because I can smell the spicy and woodlandy kind of grassy notes, but there's also a little bit of citrusy thing going on in there. But primarily, I'm getting kind of spicy, spicy woody kind of grassy smells going through it. Uh, there's not much. I can't really smell any malt body in it. But considering how light, how light this beer really is, uh, I wouldn't expect to see any. So, without further ado. Cheers. Ooh. Oh, I'm going to give that another one. Now, my initial... My initial thoughts are Marmite. I'm getting um, a lot of yeast character in this. The bitterness kind of comes through as a marmite, almost marmite flavor, like a a nice savory kind of meaty almost flavor, but but not not the kind of smoked meat I've had in in uh, in smoked beers like the Rax beer before. It's kind of unusual that. Um, I'll, I'll have another swig and I'll tell you the full flavor profile. So it's a very 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 light and very sweet malt body at the beginning and it, it's very very subtle I mean it is it's unbelievably subtle it kind of comes through more as a sweetness than it does as a malty biscuity or chunky and chocolatey flavour and the bitterness kind of kicks in straight away it's got a lovely a lovely amount of bitterness to it and as an IPA you'd hope it would do so it ticks the box on that one I think the malt body seems a little bit weak for me it just lacks that kind of counterbalance. It kind of seems like you get this sweetness, and then you get this bitterness, and then you get this sort of spicy flavour towards the end, and this kind of odd yeast character that seems to run through it. And I'd even say that that the hop characters are very subtle as well. I seem to be getting this sweet sort of body and then bitterness, and I'm not getting anything in the way of hot profile or flavour. So, uh, I'm not entirely sure what to make of it. I, I, have, I have tried this before, and I distinctly remember liking it a fair whack more. I had it on draft on my head as well, so from bottle it's going to be slightly different. Um, just for fairness, I'll pour out the rest of the bowl. Uh, I'm assuming it could be bottle conditioned, and there might be a bit of goodness at the bottom. Uh, not really much in the way to change the colour, but another sip. No, no, I think I was 
probably right the first time around. It, um, what I would say though is it, it does have a nice body to it. Again, it's quite medium body, but it feels it's got a nice little, little chunk to it, a nice kind of chewiness to it. And I've spoken about that before when I tried uh, the I tried the Rattus Bitter a couple of reviews ago. It has this nice texture and feel to it. It feels nice and chunky. It feels like you're drinking something. It doesn't feel like a glass of water. It feels like you're drinking something worthwhile and good. And the carbonation is very nice. It's very, very smooth. It's very smooth, in fact. But uh, flavour seems to be just distinctly lacking. There's just a lack of punch. It's a lack of punch for my liking. I'm not even getting much in the way of kind of woody flavours. The only thing that I'm really getting is sweetness. Is, is a really, I always like sugary sweetness and then a very nice and a very pleasant bitterness. So I'm a, I'm a little bit disappointed actually. And I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to err on the side of caution because I've tried this on draft and I don't want to put too many people off it. I'm probably going to give this a 5 out of 10. Uh, I've tried out on draft, go try out on draft, it seems to have a lot more punch to it than this does. It just seems unbelievably weak to my palate. I haven't compared comparing it to other I even even compared to like uh, pale ales that I've tried, it just seems very lacking in flavour. And IPA is meant to be more punchy, you know, your pale ales meant to be very nice and balanced, your IPA is meant to be a hot bomb, and your double IPAs and imperial IPAs are meant to be absolutely kicking the teeth, and this one is just seems to be lacking. I'm gonna give it a five because I've tried it on draft and it's better and I'll do a review of a draft one if I ever get my hands on it again. So there we are, wall top from just up the road from me. I'm afraid to say I'm a bit disappointed. But please like, favourite, comment, subscribe. Uh, tell me what you think of this beer if you've tried it yourself. Tell me I'm completely wrong. I hope I'm completely wrong and it's just a, a, an odd ball or something like that I've had. Uh, yeah, and until next time, cheers guys.